I've had this fallout boy shirt for so long. Hello my lovely babies, welcome back. Today's video is all about the ego, AO, or AIO. Alright guys, yes, today we are looking at the ego, AIO, kind of reminds me of like, E-I-E-I-O, but or ayo that kind of sounds really cool like ayo ego got my ayo <laughs> so this is what we're looking at this is marketed for beginners and it comes in a lot of different colors we have red and black black and white gray and black pure black and pure silver i just need to get this wrap off what color did i get I already forgot. This is a tube style all-in-one. Oh, there goes something right on top that fell out is the warranty card. And you open it up, ta-da! So I got the black and white one. And then in here is probably just a charge cord and maybe an extra coil. Yep. So you get the charge cord, two coils here, and a clear drip tip. And then we have a little warning about the filling of it and a quick start guide. And the actual device. Oh, it's so little and cute. So it comes with two coils and one is not installed. And these are 316 stainless steel at 0.6 ohms. And you do want to pre-drip on these before you vape on them. So you put a little drops in there, fill that up, put it in, then vape it. So here is the Ego AO. This is the fire button. This is the black and white version. The top is child proof so you have to push down and screw to open it the drip tip is removable it comes with a matching one or a clear one I am going to keep the matching one on and this also is a spiral drip tip so check that out to help prevent with spit back it is 19 millimeters in diameter and 118.05 millimeters in length from tip top to base. On the multicolored ones, where the colors meet it is the max fill line, and then on the pure black and pure silver one, it actually has a little line that says max. And you do not want to fill above that line, otherwise when you put the coil in, you will get some leaking. It does have adjustable airflow here at the top. You just spin it, and when you match up the two little dots right there, that is the max airflow. Here is the charge port. So nice. So this is a 1500 milliamp hour battery and a 2 mil capacity tank. It does have overcharge protection, overcurrent protection, and over discharge protection. Alright, so let's open her up. So you press down and screw. Aha! We'll go ahead and pre-drip on the coil. And today I'm filling up my tank with, you guessed it, some Yogo Vapes the Juice by Indoor Smokers himself. The coil just connects onto here. And then you just have this wide space for filling. Don't go past the fill line. You can see my e-liquid level is just at the fill line. And we can screw it in and press and screw to activate the child lock. I'm turning mine to full airflow for now. And I just wanted to show you guys the light. Check it out, there has a light in the tank for like midnight vaping. Or we can do different colors. See all those different colors? Oh my gosh, this is so cool. So I like that one. That's tight. And you can and you have to change the light when the device is off, so it's off, so to turn it on, five clicks. And it turns on. Okay, let's give her a vape. took a baby hit just because Joy Tech Wells. But when you vape it, it turns on the whatever light you picked. That is so cool. Now even, oh, hello. <laughs> now even at the wide openest airflow ability that it has, it is a very tight draw, so it'd be perfect for mouth to lung hits, which is more common for smokers that are just switching, which is why this is a great beginner setup. It's very small, it is the tube style, it's childproof. I love that. I think that is the best feature of this, that it is childproof, so your kid can't get into it unless they know how to open childproof stuff. But it is a lot safer to have a tank like this that is childproof and it's very small, very, very tiny. Like, look, I can hide almost all of it in my hand. <laughs> I would not vape them. 
and even though it is a 0.6 ohm and it has a tight airflow it's still producing a great amount of cloud the flavor is delicious oh my god this flavor is so good if you missed yesterday's video go back and check it out but this is an awesome setup for a beginner as well as the plus of having a childproof tank I think that should become like the norm that would be amazing for other devices as well so I'll go ahead and turn it to the tightest airflow and see what that's like that is definitely a very tight draw very great for mouth to lung inhales I'm so used to just straight up inhaling it to my lungs like you would a sub ohm big vapor device that is kind of I have to like retrain myself to vape mouth to lung to hit this the right way but when you do a mouth to lung with a device like this, it's it's great sailing, great vaping, and the light up is pretty cool. If you're ever like in the dark, you have a little mini light and you can see the level of your e-liquid. <laughs> it's always funny when I'm trying to do something that's more for mouth to lung inhales, for more for beginners, because it, I have to retrain myself to vape to my mouth and then my lung versus straight to the lung. So you can take a baby hit. Or you can take a bigger hit. Clouds, bitch. I'm loving this. This would be a great beginner setup. So if you know a smoker in your life or you're a smoker looking to make the switch, definitely check into this device. Or if you just want one to add to your collection for on the go and you still do sub ohm and mouth to lung vaping, either way, it's a great kit. I love it. So chalk one up for another great device for beginners. I have this one that I really like for beginners. The T18 is really good for beginners. The Kanger Subbot is really great for beginners. All these are really great, but I really, really love the child proof tank option on this and it's an all-in-one so you do have you you know the t18 and the sub -vod, you can change the atomizers if you want but this is like an all-in-one tube style so I really like this and the light up factor is just an extra plus in it all I will leave a link below to this device if you are interested in checking it out for yourself or someone that you want to help to switch to vaping if you have tried the ego ayo then comment down below what you thought of it whether you liked it or you didn't I love to hear from you guys and if you do want to see a one month update you can definitely comment down below and if I get enough requests I can certainly make this happen I don't think Think I would perf like personally use this in my rotation daily just because it is for mouth to lung and that isn't how I vape anymore but it does perform great so if you guys do want to see one with update if I get enough requests I will definitely do that for you guys but that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids mods etc you can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram Twitter or Facebook I do have a second channel where I upload random videos that are not vape being related so if you want to see more of me you can check out that channel all those links will be below and one more thing before you go if vaping is something you're passionate about please consider joining kasa.org and fight for your right to vape so as always I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching I'm really impressed with this and on in all honesty I would rec probably recommend this over any of the other starter devices just because it has that childproof safety feature and that's amazing.